Christians because they were literally, she was literally blaspheming the Holy Spirit upon my family. Blaspheming, 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 blaspheming. Welcome. Hopefully this works a little better. I have no idea. <sighs> Maybe third time. I don't know. Is it that many? Is this the third time? I haven't counted. <laughs> I just, I mean, it's like... It's like a mental thing. Like, I got to keep trying. <laughs> it's fourth time. I don't know. Sixth? Tenth? Yeah, I was probably I was probably ready to have a meltdown. I could have a meltdown tonight. Get those screen recorders ready, folks. You could see a meltdown of ep epic proportions. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just saying that they, there, there certainly could be some furniture moving if this one doesn't work out. I must be heard. <laughs> Please listen. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just fooling. Uh, it's, uh, God. So, yeah, furniture moving. 33 it's like it's like a it's like I'm trying to sneak into a club and the bouncer just keeps throwing me out and I'm like I'm going to get in the club bouncing me out see you later <laughs> um so right now I've right now I've got past the bouncer and uh, I'm not uh, particularly worried about it you can't throw me out of my own club. Oh, you can. Twice. Twice. Dos semanas. No bueno. Pissed off -o. Somebody did say that. God dang it. Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> then to top it off, somebody said that I had a mullet. A mullet. Where is that person? Bring him here. Bring forth the mullet talk talker. I'm going to find that person. I can't remember who said it, but I'm going to find that person tomorrow. If they show up and we're there, we, there may be some trouble at the door. I got to take my aggression out on somebody. I don't have a mullet. I never have had a mullet. If I had a mullet, I would tell you that I had a mullet and I would embrace it. I don't have a mullet. It's not a mullet. Is this thing going to crash? Is this, is this stream going to crash? Not yet. I don't have a mullet, dude. Whatever. What's your haircut called? It's called a mullet. Who is that person that said that I had a mullet? How dare they? <sighs> a mullet. It's not a mullet, dude. It's not even close. It's a, I don't know what it is, but it's not a mullet. Is it? Is it a mullet? It might be a mullet. I don't know. Jesus. I have a mullet. I have a mullet. 
It's not a mohawk. I don't know what it is. It is just it's whatever. It's skater hair. I don't know, dude. I'm just gonna wear a hat from now on. <sighs> just sh- shave my shave my head. And then is Lulu going to bed already? God dang it, Lulu. I'm just kidding. See you later, Lulu. It's not a mullet. It is. I have a mullet. <sighs> the mullet is short on top. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. This is just all all party. What what is it that what is that? Look at that. Please don't shave it. <laughs> oh, it's getting shaved. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's it's out of control. I have I have a fantastic barber. I really, really, truly have the best barber in the world. Business in the front, party in the back. It's all the back. I'm getting mullets and mohawks confused. I might go back to the gnome beanie. The gnomer. I am a gnome for life. Uh, not Fabio. Such a class as I wish I had half your hair. You're welcome to it. Um, a reversed mullet. Cherry Max. Nah, my ex has worn a mullet since the, since the uh, first came out. You don't have a mullet. Yeah, my our my barber is legit. Legit, legit. So shout out to my barber who makes my hair man you know look like i'm not homeless that's all i can ask for right decent hair god tossed in the rest he said you know what brother i'll give you some hair that you can you know if you don't groom it you'll look like wolverine you look like a fat Wolverine, and there's nothing I can do about it, but it's going to be up to you to groom it. Everything else, I'm mailing it in on you, brother. Mailing it in. I got to save the talent and the charm for others. And I said, no, please, please. I've been kicked off of, I, I, I've failed to launch twice today. And I need this right now more than anything. And uh, all right. So there we go. Right. Whatever. (sighs) Yeah. He's a great barber. Remember rat tails. I remember rat tails. I had a cousin that had a rat tail. It's Mexican. Mexican with a rat tail is from from Salinas is so stereotypical, but his rat tail is like super. It was like super long. He doesn't have it anymore. I think he had to cut it off when he got cancer. That was a terrible story. I didn't. I didn't. He's okay. I mean, he he's he made it. God, just just, uh, bad to worse. (laughs) It's like, yeah. Does your uncle no my, you love my uncle. Yeah. He ended up, it was really odd though. My, my rat tail cousin, he ended up with, um, what, uh, I can't remember now. What was that? I'm trying to think. Mm. Leukemia. That's the one with the, uh, that's the blood cancer. Is that what that is? Eric wants to know if this is a flannel or a short, it's not short sleeve brother. It's long. And you know what? Today, yeah, it was leukemia. He got it at like, like he was like 25 when he got it. And it was insane. Um, but he, 
he made it. I mean, he it was touch and go for a really long time. I mean, he was like airlifted out of to Stanford Hospital and all kind. It was just it was a really 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 bad thing, you know. Obviously, but uh, he he beat it and went on to have two kids and he's he's doing great. That was a lo- that was a while ago. That was like I don't know. It was a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, that was a bad time. Bad, bad, bad time. Please hit that like button. I feel like a lot of people don't like my stuff. And I'm getting pissed. (laughs) Not really, but everybody else wants likes. I want likes. Give me likes. I just want you to like me. I'm just looking for acceptance. And I just, you know, yeah. You got it. You got it. Amy always has, that's what I'm saying. Amy, you know I wasn't talking to you. A hundred, I would think if there's a hundred and, I don't know how many people, 200 people watching. A hundred, so only half actually like the show what are the other half doing here what are you guys doing what are the what's the other how does the other half live what's going on over there i don't know i would think that if you're gonna watch everybody would like it i wouldn't i would personally never watch anybody that i didn't like but matter of fact i don't i make it a habit I don't like you. I don't watch you. That way I don't have to hit a lot. But if I, if I'm watching something and I like it, I actually like it. I don't just like it, like it. I like it. You know, I don't just like it. I like it. I, I double like it. I like what I'm watching. I hit the like. I hit the like. <laughs> Somebody told me that it actually matters. I don't know what it matters, but it matters. Maybe it's an ego thing or a algorithm thing. I don't know about that. All I know is that, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just talking. But I just wouldn't watch anybody that. I, there are people that watch people they don't like. I find that weird. What did that person do today? Holy crap, what did that person do? <laughs> I don't know, dude, and I don't care. I don't know, and I don't care. Oh, it recommends, but yeah, you don't have to hit the like then. <laughs> it, I, I don't want to be seen by anybody other than the people that already know about this. I don't even promote Lab After Dark on the lab when we have a few thousand people watching. I don't even shout out my own channel. I don't give myself a shameless plug. I don't. I don't know why. I never go, hey, everybody, if you like to listen to nonsense, uh, please sub to Lab After Dark. And then they get over there and then, like, inevitably yesterday... Inevitably. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> it's not funny. The April Fool's thing. Do I I do not promote this channel at all. Ever. Well, see, Lulu shared it out. See, I don't like I I could give myself a plug, a harmless plug. Like I I've earned those, right? I watched a few other channels and my blood pressure went up. It's crazy out there. It's crazy stuff. Let your hair down, Josh. I'm sorry. I'm so sleepy. Must be all that streaming you're doing. I'm just kidding. Shout out to you, though. Love you, Lulu. Leave your hair alone. It's perfect and it's not a mullet. Thank you. It's not a, it isn't a mullet. 
And Daily Tab, welcome to the Insomniac Lab Rats. Oh, and Cherry and Max, thank you so much for gifting five Lab After Dark memberships. And we also, Teresa as well, thank you. I really do appreciate that. That um, It means a lot, and I know that... Um, I don't have a mullet, Debbie. It's it it's been so decreed. I saw a little yeah, I saw some, yeah. Yeah. I did. Well, I appreciate that single mom. I Josh I don't know. Somebody said I had a mullet and then it just obviously it took off. See, here's the thing too, is that like that happened while I call it the, was it like Apollo 13? We just had the Apollo 13 where everything, everything crashed twice. So it was Apollo 13, Apollo 14, Tom Hanks didn't win the Oscar for that, played Forrest Gump, mocked the handicapped guy, won a lot of awards, wasn't a great movie. But it was a great movie. And then so on and so on and so on. And somebody for some reason mentioned that I had a mullet. And I don't know, I don't know where that came from. But inevitably it made its way over here. Thank you to Let's Go Brandon, uh, who has probably bounced. You know, probably bounced. Hanks is good. I'm just saying. Should have won it for. Should have won it for. Uh, was it Apollo 13? You know, spaceship movies never do well. Oh, that ah, okay. Brandon's here. Spaceship movies never do well at the Oscars. It's just something that I've noticed. Mission to Mars. Mars Attacks, Men in Black, um, you know, those, those movies never do well. They're never really respected in the way that they should be. Battlestar Galactica sucks. That's true. Can't defend that. Takes place on a spaceship. I'm just saying that Battlestar Galactica is not going to win any Emmys. It's just not going to happen. Uh, let's go. Brandon says that, uh, not a fan of sci-fi Apollo 13 is not sci-fi. It, it, it was a true story and yeah, it was a true story. <laughs> it's true. It was a true story. I don't like anything that involves space. All right. Well, has it, did anybody watch that new Adam Sandler movie, uh, Spaceman? I I liked that movie a lot, and I don't like I don't like action. No, well, I like action adventure movies. I don't like sci fi movies, but I liked the new Adam Sandler movie with the friggin' spider. There's a spider in it. It's like a a, a big ass spider. Tarantula makes its way onto a ship. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I watched it with my own two eyes. Whole thing, too. I watched the entire thing. Sat through the entire thing. I don't turn off movies. Never. Never. You never shut off a movie. Never. No, no, no. Once I decide that I'm going to watch a movie, I'm watching the movie. Sight unseen, good or bad, we're going to finish this together. Never. Well, I mean, there are, there are special circumstances. But uh, I watched a movie called Rubber about a killer tire. Three times. Three times. And it wasn't even that bad of a movie. 
I watched it three times. Rubber. It's a good one. Anger management's good, yeah. Uh, let me see. I have not checked my email. I will. You've seen rubber. Rubber's good. It's good stuff. Um, but here's the thing. I don't... Okay, look. I don't like spiders either. Like, like I don't like snakes, but I like the Jungle Book. I like the Anaconda mostly because Jennifer Lopez was in it and Ice Cube, two of my favorites. Both terrible actors and actresses. And then... Uh, but I liked it. It was all right. But it wasn't like a, it wasn't a scary spider. Yeah, but the th it wasn't about the, but the thing is, it wasn't about the spider. As a matter of fact, that spider reminded me of my own macho, my own macho man. Love him. I miss macho mans. He's inside, so I shouldn't miss him, but. What like when I'm done here, I'll go inside. Depending on how I'm feeling when I go in, I'll either crop these sleeves off and have a sleeveless flannel for tomorrow. Or I'll sit and I will regroup and macho I'll I'll pat macho until he falls asleep. But depending on how I'm feeling, I may have a cropped flannel t -shirt or shirt tomorrow. You never know. <sighs> you just never know. It's, I've been tempted. Like, you know what? You know what would look good? No sleeves on this flannel. With my mullet, we're talking legit. Legit, legit. You know, it's not, it's not the, the spider's not the problem. <laughs> I'm just going to be rocking flannels, sleeveless flannels. It's going to be, it's summer, summer 24 is going to be something else. I'm telling you right now. I'm going sleeveless flannel. I I don't look anything like Joe Dirt. But yeah, I guess. If that's where you want to take it, if that's what you think. But I'll do it. Oh, the muffin man, the muffin man. I'm t my favorite movie. Yeah, I don't I wouldn't look good in a crop top. It's funny because sometimes you inevitably end up wearing a crop top by accident, which isn't good. And if you ever wear a crop top by accident, you're not going to wear one on purpose. These are rules to live by. So if at any point you can make a size large shirt A crop top, which I which I could. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be wearing a crop top. Not on purpose. Crop tops are only on accident. And I have no idea why this stream is working. None. I have no clue. I tried to go live... It was just wasn't in the cards. The lab. The lab was just, we were grounded tonight. It was like, like the pilot solely landing. We, we landed the plane in the Hudson. <laughs> we landed the plane in the Hudson. And now people are complaining that there's a traffic jam. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to bring back the sleeveless. I'm, gonna, I'm going all out. 
You might see me in a sleeveless flannel tomorrow. <laughs> oh, man. A sleeveless flannel with some leggings. <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't know if I made it, but I'm here and it seems to be sort of working. And the but, but you know, it's just been a it's been a rough evening just in general. The Giants lost another game to the Dodgers. My stream wouldn't work twice. Embarrassed me twice in front of my friends. It it was embarrassing, you know. It's like embarrassing. Like it's like, hey, you're in the lab. Everything shuts down. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Oh, welcome to the lab. Look at my neon sign and everything. And we just, we use stream labs over here, bro. You know, so go raise them. God. Yeah, hit the like button. Got a great show for you. You suck. Boo. I mean, you know, what do you say? Oh, it is my fault. <laughs> oh, it's my fault. If I want to get depressed, I just come watch the lab with a mullet. Great. I have a feeling that uh, you don't need any help in that area, but I'm glad I could uh, assist you. <laughs> if I want to get depressed. I've never even seen, has anybody ever seen Farmer? Have I seen Farmer before? No, I haven't. I haven't seen Farmer before. Never seen him before. <laughs> What's that on your head, farmer? Is that a pot, like a pan? Or is that a hat? Because I can't tell. What is that? I don't know how to zoom in on, on it. It's a frying pan. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I, I, yeah. No, it's a frying pan. <laughs> Looks like a bed pan. Why? Uh, why are you depressed? So you're not depressed. So every other time you're you're good, and then you turn my show on, and then you you're depressed. So whenever you want to get depressed, you come over here. Is that is that what you're telling me? I can, yes. Uh, is that what you're telling me? That I'm the reason that you're depressed? I depress you? Okay. Good enough. Um. That's interesting because farmer to win, <laughs> farmer to win, what? What are you farming to win? That I'm, I'm just wondering about. He's the... <laughs> He's the he's the drunk uncle telling bad jokes. No, nah, he just he's whenever he wants to get depressed. What kind of sick what kind of sick person looks to get depressed? Like that's my question to you. 
if you can help not being, you like feeling depressed, like because it sounds like every other time you're not here, you're depressed. Why is he still here? Because I'm not done with him. Let me cook. Hey, Cal, truly sick. Oh, whenever I want to get depressed, I just come watch Lab After Dark. I love to be depressed. Nobody's depressed like me. I am the most depressing person you've ever seen with a frying pan on their head. I wore it to the January 6th meeting at the Capitol with my friends. We had a great time. Then I went and cooked chili in it. It was good, good chili. Where did you get the frying pan from? Like, why is it on your head? Well, I don't get that. Like, you thought you would take a picture of yourself wearing a frying pan on your head and think to make that. Your profile picture. Okay, well. Yeah. That's interesting. I, I, I don't know. I've never seen that before. I've seen interesting hats, but that's not a hat. That's a frying pan. And I don't know, man. I just. You're really depressing me now. Like, it's depressing knowing the way that you use the way that you use your stuff. My wife knocked it on my head too many times. Too many times. Now my head is swelled. Can't get a... Well, she must have hit you so hard that you didn't realize that the two that you used is the wrong one. You need an extra O and it would be swollen, not swelled. So I truly believe that you may have a traumatic brain injury from your non-existent wife. That's just my assumption. Your head doesn't look swollen. Correct. Okay. Correct, Josh. Good, 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 good. <laughs> you don't you don't actually have a wife, right? Come on. You don't have a wife. You have a wife, really? Damn. That is surprising. Because if I was your wife and I knew that you were on the internet with a friggin', if you were wearing my pan on, on, on your head, I'd be pissed. <laughs> I'd be super pissed. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if we need a poll, but, like, I don't know, man. A lot of people have wives. Like, uh, a lot of people that you would think that would never have wives have them. Caitlyn Jenner, Rosie O'Donnell, Ellen DeGeneres. You know. On and on and on and on. Just is he just he's it's just surprising. So I mean he he has a wife. I believe him somehow. Somehow I believe him. Cause I think that you're allowed I think you're allowed to marry mannequins now. <laughs> right? Are you allowed to marry mannequins these days? 
I hear that they're that's what they're going. That's that's where we're headed. Oh, Eric, you don't even know. You don't even know if he has a woman or not. How would you know? You you're buying this. You believe the depressed man that comes to watch my show. No, he's not depressed until he gets here. When he's here, he's depressed. Okay. I'm going to go out on a limb and say like, there's a, there's a 14% chance that he's married. 14%, possibly 13 I'm going to say 13.7% chance that he's married because, you know, even Charles Manson, he got married. Who else got married? I mean, that. so I could see that. I could see him. I could see sort of that sort of scenario. Um... You know, and then you have, uh, like, David Koresh. He had all kinds of uh, wives. Well, Charlie's dead now, but he did get married in prison. And then... Um, who uh, uh, was that... Um, who was that cop, that Peterson cop? He got married a bunch. Thir- yeah. Ted Bund did Ted I don't know if Ted Bundy got married. Did Ted Bundy have a wife for real? Is that a true thing? I don't think so. The, yeah, the Menendez brothers, are they both married? What'd they do? Marry each other? Yeah, they did get married, yeah. So I don't know. Maybe I'll put it at like 16. Chris Proudfoot, he he keeps that guy, dude. If it turns out that he has nothing to do with what's going on, um, there's no way if he's like left out in freedom that he's not going to hit 10 marriages by like 2035. Yeah, I'd say. Women wrote Richard Ramirez in prison. Yeah, at least him. What uh, uh, is Farmer gone? Did I depress him? Is he uh, is he gone? What happened? You go tor- You going to be a social terrorist somewhere else? Just heading off and going to firebomb other people's chats with the uh, stupidness. <laughs> Just. You know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't don't know where he went. I kind of miss him. For some reason, like, we run dudes off here a lot. I don't get it. Like we got Eric and we got like Michael and there's a couple other dudes and like we're getting kind of a like some a dude kind of audience you know that's uh, we're up to like four maybe maybe sometimes and um, you know but it, it's always the dudes that have the most most of the problems they're always like we're friends okay we're friends. Josh, be my friend. Nah, they're not jealous of me. I don't know what it is. Amy says she thinks about Koi Boy sometimes. I don't. I'm single because I follow true crime. We have. We have reached our dude limit for sure, I think. I think that we have. It's weird, you know. Cause I went from a podcast that was literally like 97% dudes. So 
Yeah. Yeah, Brandon. Let's go. Brandon's not a dude. Owl guy. Oh, Bundy was married. So I don't know. Move that up to 15.3%. Koi boy actually sent me a, a, an email of him and his wife with Koi. I don't, I think I showed you guys. I don't even know if I have it. I really hope I don't. Um, wow. What the hell? Thank you, Justin. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I have it or not. And I don't want to know. Koi boy. Let's see. Koi. What do I, what do I check? Koi. Forget. I don't know. Anyway, he did send me that and I was like, I don't like that, bro. I didn't like it at all. Seth is a man. That's true. That is true. Mab. Guy's a man, too. I don't even know where Mab. Where's Mab? Probably sucking down some blue cheese or something. I don't know. The hell's that guy at? Mab with his blue cheese. That's just so gross, dude. Blue cheese. What? Blue cheese. You guys laugh now, but when that class action set with that class action set sale and we all get paid for having to listen to hours of his interviews, we'll be good. Seth is here. Yes, he is. He said good morning, but what time is it? 11, 12, 1, 2. Yeah, it's, I guess it's like 2 in the morning. <laughs> um... Yeah, I was just, I don't know, man. I don't even know, like, how I got here. Blue cheese is for the strong. My family lives on blue cheese. Danish in the house. Sick. I just don't like blue cheese. I just, I, like, I've tried. Actually, I don't know if I've tried. I've smelled it. No, that was enough. It's just get it out of my face. I don't want any part of it. You ever watch how that stuff's made? Kelly K says, I'm single because, well, just because I am. Hey, we're all God's children, people. I don't think so. Mm. Yeah. No, I don't. I like I like ketchup and mustard. <laughs> Yeah, and I have a mullet. I'm a corn dog eating, flannel wearing, mullet rocking <laughs> type of dude. No, I said I like them, Seth. I like the corn dogs. I don't love corn dogs like that. Like that. <sighs> I don't like them. Sleeveless. Yeah, well, I'm not there yet. I like um, Italian. <laughs> Tell them the corn dog story. Uh, Nah, I just uh, tell him the corn dog story. He does, but he doesn't know McDonough. If he knew McDonough, I 
if he knew McDonough, I would tell the story. I can play me reviewing the corn dog. But you know what? I really feel like it's it's getting another life, you know. I'm trying to let's let's simmer down with the corn dogs, you know. I don't know, is Justin's post still up National Corn Dog Day? Yeah, I actually I have the I have the email, so I'll I'll send it over. Oh, I see you. What corn dog story? Uh, th- th- there is no story, none. I've never had chili on a corn dog. Yeah, I should get a cut of that, don't you think? Like I should. I mean, if this corn dog thing is gonna stick, I need a I need a corn dog sponsorship. I'm sure I'd blow that though, because I'd be like, well. You can go to bed. Yeah. Yeah, you can go to bed. Why not? What's wrong with that? I'm not like, it's just, I wouldn't, I don't need to say that I love them. It's not a love thing. They're fine. Oh my God. Inevitably, we're going to end up having to put Seth in a timeout. And, uh, you know, well, we were going to have, he, he had an interview planned, I think that night. And then, um, (laughs) yeah, I don't, I'm not in charge of the merch, so I'm sure they're big sellers. (laughs) How would I know? (laughs) I don't eat them both hands. I'm not timing Seth out. It was a joke. Did somebody really time him out? I hope that's not true. Well, it's his fault. I mean, he's the one that started it. Thank you, R.R. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, I was kidding about that. I'm not timing him out. <laughs> I was just saying, you know, <clears throat> whatever. Small town gal living in a lonely world. She took the midnight train going anywhere. He didn't say that I ate two at one time. He said that I had one in one hand and one in the other and that I was eating them like this. And I don't believe that to be the case. I don't remember it. I don't recall it. I don't think that I don't think it happened that way. Now, did I eat two corn dogs in front of him fast? Yes. That I'll never deny. Yeah, both fit. You're right, Seth. (laughs) You're right. I did eat two corn dogs, but it wasn't. It wasn't because I loved corn dogs. It was what was fast and available. It it could have been hot pockets. Then we'd be having discussions about hot pockets. I haven't had a hot pocket in a long time. The last time I had a corn dog, (sighs) anyway, the last time I had a corn dog was a long, uh, quite a while ago. Do I have some in my freezer? Yes. I'm not telling you what kind of hot pocket I like. I'm just saying that it could have been a hot pocket. It could have been a churro, some phallus shaped 
food inevitably a popsicle it had to be something weird you know it, it just reviewing a hot dog or a corn dog was weird it was all weird i didn't like it i like corn dogs So, I don't know. I know Trina. Trina's Trina feels me on on a molecular level here. You know, hot pocket. Yeah, I was just it was I was just trying to eat food fast, and that was it. I'm gonna put my head down for a minute. Give me a little minute. <clears throat> Take my mind off the stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. Much, much better. Mm, just didn't call me a chunk of chunk. That's a modern mullet. They're different from the old ones. I like it. It's not a mullet. Debbie, it's not a mullet. I don't have a mullet. Yeah. The, when the chat decides to turn on you, they turn on you in a big way. What was the show you did about two minutes in prison? Alcatraz or something? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't do. I was just giving people advice on how to protect their butt when they go to prison. That's what I was that's what I was talking about. You remember? You remember that, right? Okay. And then somebody I think it was K, uh, KP Baz uh, sent me soap on a rope. She sent me soap on a rope. What do you want me to recap? There's nothing to recap. She sent me soap on a rope. You need to sleep, dear. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, the prison purse. So then it was just one. No, it was two. I'm not answering that question anymore. I know it's been bad. Everybody is. That's true. That's true. Good night, a little bit. Sleep good. Have I been? Have I been where? To prison? No. <laughs> I, I mean, I've been to prison. Yes, I've been to a prison, but I've never served time in a prison. I've been to a prison before. I've been inside a prison. I've never been locked. I've never been locked inside of a prison before. Well, actually, I was locked inside because I had to ask to get out. But I was free to leave at any time. (sighs) What's up, Abe? I was free to leave at any moment. So, but no. Rebecca, if you're asking if I've ever been to prison because convicted of a crime, no. And I haven't been to jail either. Yet. I had a visitor pass. But depending on how the rest of this week goes, I may see, I may end up. 
uh, in jail. I don't know. It's not exactly on the bucket list, but if, you know, streams keep crashing and I keep getting told that I have a mullet and things like that, it, you know, I'll figure it out. Don't worry about me. I'll figure it out. It's cool. It's fine. It's totally fine. Yeah, I just, I hear that, no, nah, I've never been to prison. <laughs> have you been? Like it's a vacation. Yeah, have you been before? Have I been where? To prison? What, like, like a vacation, like Cancun? Have you been? Oh, I've been. No, I've never been. I've been, but I haven't been. I've been, but I haven't. Uh, like, I've been to a prison. Like, how many of you... How many of you have been to a prison? No, I, uh, no, I wasn't, visiting, <laughs> wasn't visiting anybody in prison. I was there... I was there... Uh, for a parole board... Hearing. Got it. it was, there was no visitations. No, it was a parole board hearing. Abe, evil Abe, who has a cat named Miss Fluffers, who he loves dearly but won't let her inside, so he made her her own house with a heater and everything, says never prison, jail, yes. But yeah, I've uh, yeah, that's true. Mo most people that are in true crime have been arrested. <laughs> I can legally own a gun. So I don't know what to tell you. I would lie down and die if I was in a cell. I don't think it works that way. I don't think it works that way. I think that you think that you can, but you'll probably just go to sleep and then wake up. Probably. <clears throat> Has Daisy been to prison? <laughs> oh, very cool. It wouldn't surprise me. <clears throat> She's been everywhere else. Nursing school. Canada. <laughs> Prison. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I would deny bail. I would just do my time. I'd do my time and I'd just keep it quiet. <laughs> yeah, Canada. Oh, boy. That one's going to come back to bite me in the ass. Josh, you son of a bitch. How dare you say that I support abortion? I don't know if they get corn dogs in prison. I would assume that you could probably get corn dogs in prison. I don't think that it would be that hard. Like that would be pretty easy to do. Yeah, it, 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 that's true. Damn, Debbie's Debbie is clever. Like I like Debbie most of the time. Like I like Debbie, but Debbie got that one.
Well, <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know. She she is adamant that she went to nursing school. I think Seth fell asleep. <clears throat> he got his corn dog pacifier and fell asleep. That's good. He's got a busy day tomorrow. Poor guy. I'm glad that he comes around though and, and feels comfortable enough to to goof off of. That's cool. I like that. I think that's um you know, it's like I haven't seen Brandy in a while, but uh she she does it too sometimes. So I, I think it's great. I appreciate it. That, whatever the farmer guy, he sucks though. That guy can freak right off. That guy could bite me. <laughs> uh, they don't serve hot dogs in prison anymore. <laughs> yes, that's good. These cool people. As as that the, the, those are my those are my kind of people, you know, like. I don't know. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, la, 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 la. So they're chopping up the wieners now, huh? They don't serve hot dogs in prison anymore. They chop them all up. It was on the women's prison channel. There's a women's prison channel? That's crazy. I bet women's prisons are buck. I bet they're buck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, um, if like if I was to meet Seth like organically, and I would think that I I would probably you know probably pr really similar, <laughs> really similar. You know what up whistle. I actually got in jail on a hot dog day and it was good. What are the odds of that? What are the what are the odds of you going on the same day? Dude, yeah, okay, so yesterday uh, yesterday was, well, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday was uh April Fool's Day, right? And then I did a whole little I did a whole little bit about so stupid. I did a whole bit about like having to tell somebody that a family member that they're dying or that they died on That day, and I got a message, or somebody left a comment that said that they actually did, like, that the their, what is it? Let's be very close, because I'm an ass. Absolute ass. <sighs> okay. I knew, and I just knew, I knew, and now I feel bad, and. I should. Ironic. My great grandfather uh, was a great grandfather. That sucks. My great grandfather did pass on April Fool's when my parents called my grandmother, whose house I was at, to tell her. Though we thought that she was joking, or they th we thought that they were joking. Sadly, they weren't. Ugh. Yikes. I don't know. I felt bad about that. I was like, dang, dude. That whole that whole little bit or whatever it was. Yeah. It was. It was a horrible joke. What's up, Ashley? 
There was another. Well, who was the other Ashley that was in here? Ashley. I forgot. What's up, Lurk? What up, Lurk? Lurk's in the house. What's up? Yeah, that was. It was almost as tough as the time that I spent in prison, uh, Rebecca, because, you know, Josh, tell us a bedtime story. Uh, <laughs> very specific. I don't have any bedtime stories. Like, I just talk. Like, that's all I do. I talk and people pretend to listen and then, uh, you know. Can somebody time Linda out, please, for being... I'm just kidding. Good to see you. Yeah, well, that that's the thing, too, is that if you're here and you can't sleep, I guarantee that you'll be able to sleep. You just... It's it just people just fall asleep, just fall asleep. Sure, they chop up carrots and cucumbers too. <laughs> fall asleep, and then you know everybody will start snoring. But I don't have a like a bedtime story. I mean, I could tell you. Uh, I mean, I can tell you about the time I ran over a cat on accident, and I don't know, I don't know if that's bedtime appropriate, or the time I peed my pants on the Ferris wheel. I could tell you that one, but maybe not. Uh, what about? I could pre- um. I can tell you about the time my cousin broke her arm with jumping out of a tree that I was supposed to catch her and we didn't catch her. I was at the top of the Ferris wheel. No, I wasn't scared of heights. I had just crushed a friggin' I had been drinking a lot of waters and Slurpees that day, you know, and like I just, you know, I pee hard on Slurpees. Slurpees are pee bombs. And, uh, yeah, it was bad. You know, I mean, you just, I don't know if, I don't know if you've ever had, I don't know if you've ever had a Slurpee and a Coke. And then, two waters because that's what I was dealing with when I got on the Ferris wheel of shame. That's what I call it now. The Ferris wheel of shame because we were like, cause that stupid roadie, I'm telling you that roadie was a pile. I saw him down there chugging his Mountain Dew. You want to talk about a mullet? That dude had a mullet and he knew I had to pee and I'll never forgive, forgive him. And uh, anyway, I just uh, yeah, I had to spray out, man. I was it was it was just there was nothing I could do about it. It was inevitable, and I was like yelling at that stupid Carney, "Hey, let me down! Let me down, Carney!" And he was like, <laughs> "I'm not even kidding." He was like laughing about it. And I was just like, Phew. and it was one of the, it was one of those ones where like, I, I didn't even no I didn't know. I just, I just sat there. I just sat there. I don't know if I don't think so. I think it pretty much went in my shoe and now I, now I feel depressed. I didn't pee on his head. I should have. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't. But uh, it was bad, yeah. 
So, I don't know. Yeah. Somebody said I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, it was urine. I, I, my urethra is not what it once was, you know. But I could have had, I could have had a gold medal urethra, and there was no stopping. There was no stopping Noah's flood that day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There was no stopping that. Didn't matter. Made no difference. Could have been, you know what I'm saying? Pink Butterfly says, I hate a, f- a shoe full of pee. No doubt. There's nothing wrong with that. But, uh, you know, concept of a bedtime story. I don't have, but that's what I'm saying. None of my stories, I like, I, I can tell you about the time that my friend got kicked in the chest by a deer when we told him that he should try and tackle it. But I don't think that's going to really put anybody to sleep. I mean, my dumb friend you know, got behind a deer. And, uh, it bucked him in the chest. I don't know. Knocked his heart off beat for a while. (laughs) That wasn't funny. He was fine. He was fine. What's going on in the chat? People are just out of control. This is ridiculous. We're on union time again. Golden urethra. Yeah. It was a freeing experience for me because, you know, I was like, I was already in, I was already in immense amount, an immense amount of pain, you know, and when it started to, you know, when, when, when the levees broke, when the levees broke, they broke Katrina and I just, uh, there was, why, why fight it? I didn't fight it anymore. Uh, 33. (laughs) Oh, they loved it. They thought it was hilarious. 33. Something like, I don't know. I was in my, I was in my, it was a really, I was really, really young. I was, it was around, I was around 33, <laughs> 32. You yeah. know, but, uh, it was tough. It was tough. I was in the paper the next day. I was in the paper. It was like the local, it's like the North coast journal. Guy pees his pants. Ah. Yeah, Cat H, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. I meant as a kid. I did that as a kid. That was an, you're right. Yeah. It was as a kid. Sorry. Sorry, I got my I got my stories confused. When I was 33, I had a, a motorcycle accident that made me tougher. Yeah, right, Edge. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Ferris wheel of shame. Yeah, I was a, I was a, I was a wee lad <laughs> when that happened. No pun intended there either. I was, I was younger. Yeah, dude, local papers are cool, but not when they're writing that you that some some dude pissed his pants on a Ferris wheel. Yeah, that was like the really weird, like that was a weird day too, because we went over to like, cause they had like, they had like the FFA farm, you know? And I remember it was like the pig with the biggest testicles or something. And, you know, we couldn't not go look. 
and I would, you know, I thought that maybe I was a little surprised that, that it at at the the lack of size. Uh, I, I, but but they were big nonetheless. Kind of a seriously like I I I used to think that my family. My family was like the most ridiculous, like hillbilly, you know, just embarrassing. And, and trust me, that we have we have our soldiers, but I've been to state fairs as well. Uh, makes my family the most normal. That's what I think. I we I look around and I go, man, we're royalty. <laughs> we're royalty, folks. <sighs> anyway. Yeah, th- yeah, thanks, Abe. Abe coming through with the factoids. The 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 weirdest part about that, Abe, is that I'm sure that you Googled what is the most depressed animal <sighs> with the with the Yeah, we don't yeah, we trust you, man. You you can be our you can be our go to source for anteaters with wieners that drag on the ground. If it makes you feel any better and I can stop you right there and I can guarantee you that whatever the rest of this sentence says, and I'm not looking at it, but I can guarantee you there's never been one time that anybody in the history of the world has ever said to me, if it makes you feel better. Okay. I've never felt better after anything that anybody has ever told me just putting that out there if it makes you feel better i burnt my butt on a space heater at my friend's house when i was eight i had a waffle print burnt onto my butt who put space heaters in tiny bathrooms yeah i mean that made me feel a little better actually yeah i can see that The first person I ever, uh, you know, it's not a lot better. Not it's it's not noticeable, but it made me feel a little better. <laughs> just a tiny bit better. I mean, I don't know, just whatever. It's, uh, oh my god, what's tomorrow? Wednesday? God, people are gonna wake up in the morning and hear this. Unless I delete it, which I might, I might have to, I don't know. This one, this, this one was off the rails. How can you tell if an anteater is depressed? I I don't know. I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Oh, I'm ashamed. But that started years ago. It's all right. I'm not depressed. Let's see. I was a I was a client. See, like that was a cool story though. You like you were a little kid. What percentage better? I don't know, like 0.3% maybe. And uh, Gigi Susie wants people to know that she was eight, not 33. Totally random. Does any, does anyone know what state gig girl was here earlier resides in, 
I don't know. She strikes me as like the Texas type. I've never seen an anteater other than on TV. Eric, thank you for that too. Appreciate it. Yeah, Texas is great. Appreciate you guys. He doesn't wear a collar. <laughs> I wish he he's so much prettier without a collar on y'all have a good night sleep well replay crew hit the comments bro we had eight comments in the last video I hurt my heart but I appreciate it all eight of you I appreciate everybody that was here tonight, too. Later, Abe. Cat H. Debbie. Single bomb. Eight is unacceptable. It certainly is. It's unacceptable, but I accepted it. I accept it. Numbers need to go down. Well, let's go down, guys. Numbers go down, down, down. People leave the room. Bye. You're welcome for the bedtime stories. Let's go to bed now. Night nights. We're going to make it happen, Eric. Don't worry about it. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Doc says he's been waiting six months for pictures of that couch, Don. <laughs> really? Well, I'll tell you what. Is he, is he on, in your chat right now? He's in Please? the chat room, yes. 
Yeah. Oh my god. I think, unless it's like a. No. He's such an asshole. Oh. <laughs> right. 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 Damn, son, where'd you find this?